Hey everyone, Itani is here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Angels of Death. Last time, we met the preacher dude, who said, Pass our test, and we will give you the serum uh, to save Zach, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and Kathy's alive. Sure, I shot them, there's no trace of them. Switch a bit back. This is it. Press the jail switch. Elevator? Just take me to the elevator. Okay. Appears you managed to press the switch. Yes, Reverend. And how did you accomplish this feat? Did not a soul give Chase or impede your progress? No, somebody did, but I shot them all. Is that so? Now what was your reasoning for such an act? Because they were in the way. Uh oh. I see. That's not good. Well, time is short. Let us carry on to the next floor. Oh, fuck. I think that was the wrong answer. I think we're gonna die. Well, we have a ride, Rachel Gardner. Okay. Mm-hmm. As you requested, floor, floor B4. Oh, shit. The switch here is within the water temperature control room. Why must you do all of this? What do you mean? For a while now, your actions have been confusing me. I just want to go downstairs to find some medicine. It is all for the sake of learning who you are. Who I am? Indeed. For you see, you are irregular. A lamentable lamb, or perhaps a demon. Also, I am monitoring your actions during this test. Oh, wait, does that mean, like, everybody is alive? Like, all of the- oh, no! I'm not scared of this kid. I'm scared of Danny. I don't want to play with fucking Danny. The grave zone stack just right has been moved. No, oh, fuck this noise. Not again. What's wrong with me? How am I able to see the dead now? But this is no time to be scared. You're damn fucking right it's not. Hi. Upon closer inspection, I see this place has been utterly ruined. Eddie was a nice boy, to be true. Furious, he must have been that his graveyards were the target of villainous dis devastation. Perhaps his kind heart is to blame for his tendency to receive the short end of the stick. But it was those who were meant to be resting in their graves who should be pitied the most. Eddie was compassionate enough to give them a resting place for the cleansing of their souls. Now even that wish shan't be granted. Well, I shall go on ahead. You may resume your errand. There's something sticking out from the broken gravestones. Those shouldn't be there. We don't need to worry about that now. I've got to go to the temperature control room. I'm pretty sure it's at the back of the room or to the right. I'm scared. Were they? No, they weren't. There's a large hole in the wall. The control room for the water temperature, it should be through here. Temperature is displayed. Appears to be the temperature control device. It has a bar. Uh-huh. Door is tightly shut. Okay. written on the refrigerator. Only for my use. So the air begins to left out. Nothing inside. A hole in the back. Can't seem to reach it. I had something long and thin. I don't have any of shit. Damn it. 
a broken pickaxe. Eddie? From the gravestone is moving on its own. I think it's a hand shaped stuffed toy. I guess it's a movie toy. If I tie that to the stick with the string, grab it. Required toy hand. Alright. Okay. Y'all are making some weird ass noises and I don't like it. String. String? I guess I'll bring the toy to the pickaxe and see what happens. You guys are gross. Don't come near me. Oh, okay. I don't have any string. Where am I supposed to get string? Grandpa. Reverend. Reverend, help me out. You fucker. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna kill all these things just because they're making really annoying noises. Oh, but is that gonna be- Now I don't need you. If I attach the toy hands to this and make it longer, first I'll sew them together. And combine them to make a centipede. Cool. Should be able to reach the back if I do this. The thing is so odd, it's not broken and it's still wiggling a little. Right, switch. Gotta hurry to the elevator. Toy hand stopped moving. I saw that, Rachel. How terrible. Just terrible. Hey, does hearing a sad scream not make you feel anything, Rachel? Don't you want to comfort whoever screamed? Even consider what makes that person happy? You only think about yourself, Rachel, and blatantly ignore anyone else's happiness. That's why everyone around you, even Zach, will no doubt suffer and meet their end. Hi, Eddie. How awful. A sad scream, I feel nothing. Suffer and meet their end, even Zach, but I... No, I mustn't think about this. The next floor, B5, has the medicine. I gotta hurry and get back there. But, Danny. Danny's ghost will be there. It appears so. Rachel Gardner, how did you manage to press the switch? I attached a toy hand to the pickaxe and pressed it with that. Interesting. Did they wail in agony? No. How can you be so sure? I mean, it's, it's just a toy hand after all. I see. They must have appeared to you as such. So be it. If that is what you saw, then it must be true. Please let me go down to the next floor. We're giving the wrong answer, Charles. We're gonna die. Ray Ray's gonna be in a lot of trouble. We have arrived at B5. Dr. Danny. You wish to come here, did you not? Yeah. Then make haste and find your medicine. Danny is a festive that bad man, but he is nevertheless scrupulous, dedicated, and unbiased in his work. Surely he has the medicine you seek. Seems Danny has been a trifle obsessive as a late. Um, what is it? There's something I need to get on B6 as well. 
Oh, very well. Sure it's okay? Yes. Return to the elevator once you have found the medicine. What are you doing? Okay. I'm positive there should be some around here. through this floor before but something seems out of place. It's been bothering me this whole time but I can't put my finger on it. Even Zach's mom is still there. Oh! Oh no! Ew! It's moving! That's gross! I'm out of here. What just happened? Ow. Huh? What happened just now? What in the world? But the whole thing's left me feeling strangely refreshed. Bothers me. Never mind that, I gotta find the medicine Zach's depending on me. I'll try the operating room, it seems a place where I could find some. He's not there! Pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either, but... The only trace of him being dragged is here. Something's off. I'll forget that for now. My first priority is finding some medicine. The room in the back should have a shelf with specimens and drugs. Ah, Danny's... Danny bothers me. Drugs are gone. I'll scour all the drug shelves on the floor if I have to. The security camera's broken. Oh boy. The inside's also been ransacked. There's nothing here. The interior has been ransacked, leaving no place to step. Fortunately, the medicine has been taking it out. It's been taken out. It's gone. All gone. The medicine's all gone. Did someone make off with it? I gotta get back and see Zach. I also gotta get to B6. Zach asked me to. I gotta hurry. Elevator door is shut. Where is the Reverend? What is the matter? You look ghastly. Hurry and take me to B6. So I shall, but did you find any medicine? No. Nothing? You told me there would be medicine here on B5, but that turned out to be false. Well... Perhaps you doubt my words, but do not look upon me with accusing eyes. I too am unaware as to why the medicine is missing. Yet I can guess that you are to blame, Rachel Gardner. It has nothing to do with me. Has it ever crossed your mind that you have played a part in all these unfortunate events? I told you it has nothing to do with me. Never mind that. Hurry and take me to B6. Very well. Let us be on our way then. Uh-oh. Oh, so you're alive. But you're so weak. Uh oh. Hi! What's up? Uh, who is it? No! No, why is No! I don't like Danny! Danny freaks me out! I don't like him! Uh, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. 
You never change, do you? It amazes me that you can even move so nimbly in that shape. But look at you, you're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? That's a good question, what's he here? I knew it all along that you were attempting to go after Rachel and leave this floor. So I hid a bit of a safety precaution under my clothes just in case. I had no idea that you'd actually show up. Alright, I'll slash you good one more time. You mustn't push yourself, Zack. Look at you, such a slow poke. Besides all that, just give it a rest. Even I didn't make it out unscathed, okay? My body armor and blood transfusion packs got hit hard, resulting in this mess. You seem pretty peppy considering it, if you ask me. That's what separates you and I. Proper preparation in advance and clean up afterwards. Though, I'm just as frantic as you are. I thought about killing you in your sleep, but you wake woke up that goes that- No! <sighs> Tell me why are you accompanying Rachel? And where is she anyways? Are you seriously asking me that? As if I'd ever tell you where she is, you fuck. What would you do if I said I killed her, huh? You trash. Who do you think is admiring her peepers? Are you trying to say you killed her? Don't fuck around with me. Those peepers are unique. I've been searching my whole life for peepers like those. Alive yet dead and so tranquil and beautiful. You think I'm gonna let someone like you have her peepers? Wow. Oh my Danny. I mean, he's... He's pretty endearing, just... Ugh. Dude, he's a flying fuck. I don't care less about her eyes. But she wants me to kill her, and I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray isn't yours to decide. Fine, have it your way then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is proof of that. Allow me to make a proposal, my battered friend. To tell the truth, I have lots of medicine on my person. Want me to use it to save you? That is, if you scoop out Rachel's papers and give them to me. I don't like him. I just told you I've got no fucking interest in Ray's eyes. Count me out. Without her eyes, her laugh and smile would be empty. I thought I told you to leave me alone about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. Oh my. What a fool. I'll take my leave then. I'll lose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case, I should hoof it out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make preparations to protect your peepers. Fuck. He's not dead? Ugh. We have arrived at B6. Zack's floor corresponds to his mystique. It is uncomplicated in design. Now make haste. But I don't know what I'm looking for. He didn't tell me what he needed. Gotta get in and hurry back. So it's inside the place Zack and I first met. in here. The wood planks used for boarding up the door have been removed. The inside is dimly lit and obscured inside here. This room. This place is a pigsty, but it feels like someone was here. Could this be where Zack was staying? I know I'm in a hurry, but I'm curious about all this. I am too! Broken glass cup sits neglected on the desk. Appears to contain some kind of drink. How unsafe. There are signs of someone drinking from it. Drinking from a broken cup. Dirty used bandages are discarded on the floor. A dirty knife lays on the crate. Is this what Zach was talking about? It's awfully dirty and not to mention a little rusty. Seems like it wasn't maintained very well. That's odd. The blade. It looks razor sharp. I'll bring it along just in case. Good! We need that! They're gonna need that for Danny. Right after I do a quick final sweep. Empty cans of carbonated beverages are strewn on the floor. A bunch of the same soda cans are on the floor. A 
half-eaten bag of snacks is on the floor. The contents are mushy. There's a St. Kate's and reddish-brown splatter and a hung dirty towel. Don't tell me he's been using this the whole time. Soiled blankets are scattered all over the dilapidated sofa. It's a shoddy hard spring sofa. The blankets are thin, must not provide much warmth. A single bandage lays between sofas. Acquired a bandage. A bandage. Good. There's no burn medicine. I think there's nothing else left. Gotta hurry and get back. There's a tattered magazine. There's graffiti around it that is identical to the scribbles. Maybe Zach wrote this. Oh, that's right. Zach can't read. So he spent his time here like this. I had no idea. Come to think of it, I don't know anything about him. Time to head back and see him. Did you finish your errand on B6? Yeah, so I want to hurry and get back up to B2. Very well. Let us return then. Yes, please. Oh, he's not there. What is the matter? Oh no. He's gone. I'm not able to produce him even if you continue to stare me at me like that. Are you being truthful? Indeed I am. Just as I suspected, the one behind this chain of misfortune was none other than thee, Rachel Gardner. What is it with you? I told you it has nothing to do with me. Was Danny on B5? He is the only one whose whereabouts are unknown to me. Uh-oh. Why would such an earnest and sensible man start acting so bizarre? It is you who is behind this, is it not? It's not my fault. Never mind that, I gotta find Zack. Oh. I have been watching thee. I have grown curious as to sort what sort of meddling hellion you are. If baneful, then justice must be swift. So the sight of you searching for medicine for Zack did offer a glimmer of hope. Alas, it seems I was mistaken. Your actions abound with selfishness- OH NO! And the answer you gave me at the outset as to why you're trying to keep Zack alive because you wish for him to take your life. Oh, Rachel Gardner. All of your actions are without a doubt selfish for you love only yourself. Sure, I want Zack to kill me, but it's not just about that. There's more to it. Zack swore an oath to God that he would take my life. Rachel Gardner. You say Zack swore an oath to God. However, even if he did us make that oath, how do you know if God will choose to allow it? If there were others with the same oath, do you not think that it is God's will to determine which shall come to pass? Should the will of God differ from your own, what then will you, you do? Uh-oh. Forgive me, t'was a rather heartless question. Now I must make pre preparations before I sentence you. Oh boy. Well then, Rachel Gardner, let the deliberation proceed. I gotta find Zack! You motherfucker, I gotta go find my buddy! Great, I'm hallucinating again. The will of God. Never mind about me. The man's not here. I gotta hurry and find Zack. What? Dog. Oh. Snake! Giant snake! Big ass snake! Run! Go run! There goes my idea of actually saving. Ah! Oh, there he is! Wake up! There's a giant snake! What are you talking about? Look, it's right there! Listen to me. We'll take the door behind us. I'm a talking to you! Hurry up! Shut up! Oh, I was high. Oh, I was hallucinating. Oops. 
Don't give me oops. Oh, that would be my husband. Okay. Hello. Oops. Oops. N no. With the giant snake. You must be monitoring things or you fucked up in the head. Don't make me pound your head again. Just when I think you're back, you don't make any sense and you're all freaked out. I knew you couldn't handle yourself all alone out there. Sorry, dude. Are you alright? Why did you move here? I had an unwanted visitor. Dr. Danny? Yep, the one and only. How'd you know? His body was missing. That makes sense. Cocky bastard. I couldn't move, so the bastard bolted before I could finish him off. Did Danny say anything? Who cares? It's nothing you need to be worrying about. Okay. Sure. Never mind all that. You came back alive. What's wrong? I'm sorry. All the medicine from B5 was gone. Come to think of it, that bastard muttered something about having medicine. So he did have a hand in this. Hey, did you make it to B6 and get the stuff I told you about? Oh, that? Yeah. It's all I need. Let me see it. This is what you wanted? Alright, now this I can wield. Is that knife yours? Oh, this is my original go-to guy before all this. Hey, what do you say we get to move on? No wait, you're still in no shape to move around. Man, you're pesky. I caught some major Z's earlier so I can manage. Wait, then at least let me treat your wounds. Back off, don't get any ideas about touching or doing anything to me. It's like more than some cuts and bruises take me down, so don't you worry. That won't do. What is it with you? You've had a weird look on your face ever since you got here. Hey, do you remember what that woman on B3 said? When I think that she was right, it makes me want to puke, but she wasn't wrong about one thing. No, you and I are not playing things. Not that part. You already gave your spiel on it, so I remember it. What then? The part about me being a monster. A monster doesn't go down easily. Wouldn't you say that was true? Come on now. Would you quit making that weird face? It's pretty much normal for a monster. And that's always been normal for me. Hey, quit spacing out. Whatever the case, all we can do is keep going if there's no medicine. If you're not coming, then I'll leave you behind. No, 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 no. Just so you know, I can't run right now. Got it. Cool. There's a trail of blood. Is that Dr. Danny's? Fuck if I know. Well, I'm pretty sure he was dripping with blood. Dripping with blood, but he was still alive? He was packing insurance under his clothes. At any rate, if Danny has medicine, then we gotta track him down. Let's follow the blood trail. In the next episode, because I am actually all out of time. So... No, I don't want to play with Danny anymore. I can see why he, he is kind of an endearing character. I think I'd really like it. I think I actually do like him a little bit, but out of the people that we've met on all the floors so far, Danny is probably the worst. Because... He's just too nice. <laughs> That's what I'm basing it off of. He's just too nice. So anyway, in the next episode, we'll go after him. And maybe this time, Zach will actually kill him. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!